soon as I start recording, on top of the screen, <laughs> the camera's already fucking dead. So, <laughs> so, I actually did want to record the whole day today, but it's now nearly 8 o'clock in the evening, and the battery died at like 8 o'clock in the morning. So I had to go about my day uh, as normal, because I didn't have time to wait around and and charge, charge the camera. So yeah, YouTube video. Let's get started. So, I have this camera, but it's not mine. It's King of Cavs. Yes, the monk. Um, I have to edit a video for them, which should be up Sunday. Today is 5th, whatever. It should be up at the weekend, 10th or 11th of December. So you'll see that it's quite funny. So funny. Editing it might show you a few clips. And um, yeah, so I took the camera and why not upload a video myself? Just give an update on life and what I'm currently doing. I'm sitting at about 80 kilos now and quite happy with where I am to be honest eating around 2,800 to 3,000 calories a day now as well, so it's pretty good. Food is good, work's good, life's pretty good. So I'm gonna get out of the bed now. It's now nearly eight o'clock and I've only had 368 calories today. It's like my favorite breakfast, steak, veg, oats, blueberries for your nostalgia. So now I have to have about 2,500 calories. Let's go do that. As hungry as I am, I just can't, just can't get up. Kyle, help me up. Yeah. Looks like I'm not going anywhere. Ah! Ah! Oh! Let's go, let's go eat. Shitty soaps. I'm out of here now. We're gonna go with chicken tonight. Chicken. Even though I'm off prep, I still am bulking. Because I don't mind it. I know a lot of the people think it's stressful and whatever. But I don't think it's stressful at all. I kind of enjoy it. And nutrition is a big variable of hypertrophy, of growing a fucking physique. So why wouldn't I track that and ensure that I'm hitting daily protein requirements and getting a sufficient enough calories in? Why wouldn't I do that? I think a lot of people who are my age, not my age, who are starting off training, have a young training age, and aren't tracking, and they're using the excuse of, of tracking is too much. I think it's just an excuse for being lazy as well. So I can cook. Okay, so here's David, and he's doing this smoky bacon, or barbecue. <laughs> barbecue, chicken, fry. This is the core ingredient. Tiki masala from Super Value, that's only 69 cents. Yeah. It's better, it's actually nice. It is nice, yeah. Then. <coughs> baby spinach and baby kale. Source of vitamin A. Folic acid. I don't know. <laughs> What's folic acid? Super Value is only 20 cents, I'd say. Uh, it was actually two euro. That's expensive. Yeah, it was expensive. It's expensive to eat healthy, which is a problem. Yeah, and then Why you can just buy pizzas that are just like 50 cents in yeah. Iceland and they're fat. There's so much wrong in the world. 
And then you can buy chocolate that's only like 69 yep. cents as well. Yep. Tell Ew. people, it's lovely, tell Ew. people how important it is to, to get in your vegetables on while you're bulking. Let's go Chef D. That's ridiculously good. That shit. Walking Dead is terrible. Another thing. Try and get in as much veg as possible all day, every day. When people are cutting, they tend to eat a lot of veg because it saves a lot of calories. But when you're bulking, it's just as important. Don't know why I keep spinning the plate, kind of mirroring my own food. But uh, yeah, like it's important too when you're bulking. A body that is at optimal health is more likely to build muscle than someone <coughs> who's, who's just eating, not eating veg basically. So yeah, eat your greens. Back in bed again. Even though after that meal I still have like over a thousand calories left so anyone who knows me knows I'm gonna finish off with oats big bowl of oats and <clears throat> might just have some cereal as well if I didn't have the cereal I'd just add extra to my oats it's as simple as that so I have to get up go do that and then put something on Netflix if you haven't watched Punisher watch it it's pretty epic Feels like deja vu. Every night. That's where the magic happens. 150 gram oats, big banana, dark chocolate, white chocolate, protein powder, cinnamon. There's probably other stuff in there. Don't matter. Well, I'm having this now and I'm actually still, even with this nice amount of food, I'm still actually 200 calories short of, two to 300 calories actually short of my, uh, calorie target for the day but me and the little bro usually go ham on a Friday night so you're not gonna build muscle or lose fat overnight I like to look at it as a weekly kind of monthly thing so um, yeah I'm taking into consideration my weekly calories and I'm gonna leave it there with that so I'm probably gonna pick this up back tomorrow when I go down to the guys and return return this camera. December 6th. You can pause that and read it if you want. I'm not gonna stare at it any longer. And I have to. Alright. I have to go meet the guys soon, so I have to get breakfast and leave. Let's go. Okay, breakfast, steak, asparagus, oat, blueberries, a bit of cinnamon, a shot of apple cider, and then that's what I'm bringing for a post-workout. There's cold pops in there, protein bar, coconut milk. I'm not sure what this video is going to be about. Um, I know I wanted to pick back, pick up YouTube again because YouTube is something I like doing. I like editing these videos, even though I'm not like a crazy good editor. Um, nothing too crazy, but I do like doing these videos. And the feedback I've been getting from people is, why have I stopped? That people were actually enjoying them, and I was enjoying them too. And for someone starting off, my videos were getting a lot of views, which isn't something I really care about, but it shows that there was interest there so it was something YouTube is something I wanted to pick up back in the new year but I'm not waiting for the new year here's some advice don't wait for the new year don't have a new year's resolution have one but just do it now <laughs> do it now I've been doing that the past few months with a few things now and it just makes life a lot better it makes you feel better about yourself just getting shit done 
Uh, no, it's easier said than done because it involves actually doing it. So yeah, it's time to go to Mayo. Something I want to get for the car as well is uh, a GoPro, which if me and the lads sort out a schedule or a schedule uh, for the camera, for this camera, that we can all like share at different points, I'd be up for that. It would mean videos less frequently on my channel, but I'd be cool with that. Um, Cause then I get to just get to use this camera, Canon G7X. It's pretty, it's pretty good. I'm enjoying using it. So instead of putting money towards that, then I just buy a GoPro for the car. I think there'd be some cool shit in the car. Shit happened in this car. Oh, camera's already falling. Critics. Hey. You're on, eh? I am, yeah. Yeah, well. I know. Here we are. Paul is set up for his uh, cooking. We'll be here for the next three hours. <laughs> yeah, uh, doing check-ins. Yeah, I'm just checking in check-ins, you know. I've been at it since... Six o'clock. So Respect the grind. The behind the scenes of what uh, people don't see. Editing, meal prep, a handsome man to meal prep. Preppy, preppy. Yeah. Ah. What's your What's your methods of give some people advice here now for meal well, prepping? In terms of meal prep, I used to do it every day for like an hour, an hour and a half, and it was wrecking my balls. So then I did it every three days, and it took me like. Three hours, one three hour shift every three days. And then just through like experimentation and getting faster at things, I'm mean, now able to cook nicer meals in like an hour and a half. How many times, how many like trial and errors did you have? Oh man. Because people can try something and be put off at the first time my, and then just stop. My, my fucking whole life is a story of trial and error. <laughs> Normally, if I get something right, and it goes well for me. I fucked it up about 50 times, no exaggeration. And that's where people fuck up, is they fuck up the first time, they think that's it and they stop. Yeah, well, nothing really came easy to me or came natural to me. Damn. <laughs> Very little came to me uh, naturally. Maybe squat technique, that's about it. <laughs> As to grab squat technique. That's about the only thing. Everything else, I had to fuck up a lot of times. This was wrong with modern education system. They don't let you fuck up. Fucking up is failure when it's actually it's necessary. One of the essential parts of succeeding. It's a necessity. Yeah. It's a stipulation of success. Would you say? Oh, uh, it's one of the discrepancies of the. Like, ah. The ah. So there you have it. Is Puller's insight to his madness of uh, meal prep. I myself don't meal prep, I actually used to do it and I actually do meal prep for the weekends. I prepare some meals but on a daily basis during the week I don't need to meal prep because um, the meals are usually always different as well. Puller's, eat, Puller's eating the same thing which works for him and he's following his diet plan. We all have our different methods to our madness, nothing is uh, written in stone. So it's completed. So Puller, that being Puller, okay. has so been... So this is six of these meals, which is brown rice, turkey mince, and an amazing tomato sauce straight out of, you know, the, the foot of... 
<laughs> Mount Vesuvius. With these smells that are in this kitchen, I honestly feel like I'm in Boojum. For those who know Boojum, so I love then it. there's six of these, two of these a day, and then there's six of these, two of these a day, and I cook my breakfast fresh every morning, so it's normally meat and nuts. What else would you possibly have for breakfast? Ah, the meat and nuts. The meat and nuts. It really is the nuts and bolts of getting in shape is the meat and nuts breakfast. So you want to gain muscle, people try and overcomplicate it. Let me tell you, it's just this coupled with lift, lifting heavy. Would you say that's fair? Um, yeah, I think that's fair. I think people definitely overcomplicate it. I think people like to make nutrition complicated and training very simple, which is definitely you know, not the right way to go. You want to make your training fairly like intelligent, uh, very planned, very structured, and you want to make your nutrition nice and simple, just easy to follow. I'm not sure what it's going to be about, I just wanted to pick up the camera, pick up the camera again, because in the new year it's something I wanted to do, and I didn't want it to be a new year's resolution thing. I was saying, new year's resolutions should be done now, as opposed to waiting for, <laughs> as, opposed to, as opposed to actually waiting for the new year. Do you know what, Big Z? What? You're fucking dead right. You're dead right. <clears throat> this video would be going up after, or big enough, or oh, a video man. Of it. I thought I was eating this one, because this is the nice one. I'm actually eating the fucking fish one. Ah. Uh, I-I-F-Y-N job. Ah, uh, Alan Arga. Is that still video? Yeah, it is. It's going to say video too. I probably look like a bozo, right? No, this is where it's at. P Puller was at, while he's eating the food there, he's actually been bulking. Safe to say, for the last, what, four or five months? I've been actually bulking, for believe it or not, 40 weeks. So 40 weeks is nine to ten months. Isn't it? Yeah, so it's 52 weeks in a year. Ooh. Yeah, nine months. Mm. So as long as someone carries a baby, I've been bulking. <laughs> you might have thought Puller was actually carrying a baby. <laughs> And by the end of it, I looked very nine months pregnant. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so you could you could make um, comparisons between my bulk and a pregnancy, you know? Yeah, you could definitely. You started small, you grew gradually, you know. You might do one of those. You got a lot of hunger. How did you deal how did you deal with the bloat? <laughs> do you wanna do you wanna do a post on the bloat? An Instagram versus reality job. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're stored there off the bed. <laughs> Turn it up, you have no volume. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> that's such a fucking man, I think. Here we are at the headquarters. 100% personal training international headquarters intercontinental be ready for the new year to be trained by the most renowned personal trainers in the west of Ireland bitch who do you love same time Let's go. Come on.
Momo. Nice view. Gas from here. Ooh. That's right, get it. No, it's hot, tell me, tell me. Cider, fronter, backer. Arr. I'll find it. I'm videoing. He looks jacked on that jumper. That's hot, doesn't he? Big Jesus. So mad, man. Big dig. Actually, switched my grip on deadlift just this past week. I was deadlifting with straps for the last few months, but um, I was going too heavy and my form was breaking down. And I've actually, I actually hurt my lower back a bit, stupidly enough. And um, I've switched it back to over and under hand grip. I used to do that. I like lift quite heavy with that and it felt really good. I'd say it's my first day back doing it. Just went with 140 for three sets of five. And it feels so good. It feels great. So looking forward to progressing now on the deadlift again with that grip. Let's go big D, just the boys. Oh boys, you are sight. So I'm finished deadlifts now, and it's time to train a bit of arms. See ya. See ya, Paul. Pully, pully. Yeah, that concludes the session. 
I'll just get the fucking blob and go. That's why look. That's why you have the fucking hole. That's why the hole on the side. On the side. Oh, holy hole! That's why you're, there, that's, where you that's where the needle goes. The needle goes there, and it also goes down to right up. Look, she it just says follows, it doesn't say subscribe. Huh? Mm. We have them here. It just says follows, it doesn't say subscribe. What the fuck was that? Benny, you have some millennial head near there. The head down job. Benny ah, Milleni, Benny Milleni, oh. Ah, Benny Milleni, <laughs> Benassi, John. Ah, satisfaction. Ah. Ah. Millennium nightclub, John. Ah. <laughs> Stevens night job, ah. Ah, ah Stevens night. Big D's coming down. Was he telling you, wasn't he? Oh, sorry, you had this discussion already. Sorry, 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 I wasn't there. Brendan's very jealous. I seem to forgot because I wasn't there, you He know? showed some of that jealousy today. <laughs> I think no, it's it. fine, you know. He just came and stole uh, Kevin, and then he came and stole you. Would you? I. BG, 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 you just fucking look the fucking thing. Look, this is it here. Show the, show, show to the camera, and they can see what. Cover, <coughs> cover, cover. People, what do you think? Cover, co cover the names. Yes. Tell, us what, tell us what you. What? That's, that's it, that's what it's going to look like. Like you had in the last one you sent us, yeah. Thanks very much. Perfect. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. We'll be in contact. <laughs> Thanks, Molly. Thanks again. If you want a good PT, you can contact me. Big D, you wouldn't train shite. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, hang on, hang on. Feel my, feel my bicep. Um, first of February. Where? Electric in Galway. Oh, no. They, they'll, be, they'll be announcing a Dublin day. Friday the 2nd of February, District 8. Dublin. Yes! My birthday. That is us! That is us! Is it? My birthday is We are not missing, I'm not missing my today. No way. The gym will be open for weeks and we'll be fucking off the double. I don't give a fuck. Haha, no. <laughs> <laughs> they'll turn to third. Unreal. Here, Jimmy Fit. Jimmy, Jimmy King is Jimmy fucking. King. Oh, sorry. Jimmy <laughs> King. <laughs> Jimmy King has had a on Snapchat and he didn't accept him. Man, I'm only have to download on Snapchat today. Hey, he came in. And I'm gonna send him a fucking selfie now. He came in in a straw state that he wasn't invited over to the house the last day. <laughs> Some selfie. Hey, looks fucking well. That's a dad selfie. If I ever see, if that, that's a dad selfie if you've ever yeah, seen I'm one. I'm a fucking dilf. Well, that's going down a lot easier than I've seen before. Oh my god. He stated this it's like thing. actually nice. It's like enjoy the meal now. Yeah, and I'll eat meal nice meal. I'd like eat this meal. Meal now. Yeah, and I'll eat meal nice meal. I'd like eat this meal. Back to business. What's this? Look at Brendan. Who looks so When I walked in, Big D and his hands were on Ben's shoulder. And just as I he walked inside, he, he lifted up the hand. He <laughs> <laughs> caught the act up. Do that sort of stuff to your boss to get up in the world. Hey! Harvey Weinstein, Jack. Oh, you're joking. Did you do the back ball, Weinstein? Yeah. See, we're saying you've seen Paul Chess. Me? Yeah, Soul Chess. Didn't you say there? Soul Chess. You do it, Soul Chess. I'd love to lick it. I'm not, I am licking it right now. Look at that. 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 I am. I'm just happy with all my friends. Hey, three accounts there and all that stuff. Do you know what I mean? I've got, you know, a few friends in this in this world, and when I spend time with them, I'm a happy guy. For you, me, job. Okay, this weekend, right, we are December 6th today, this weekend, we are announcing something, what, 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 what exactly are we giving away here? The name Just and everything, everything. The whole lot. The whole, the whole shoot the load, no, shoot the whole load. Too early, premature ejaculation. Alright, we're actually announcing, you're not going to take it very seriously if you're doing that. That's some chest though. I don't know, right, what? The this Sunday, the launch of a personal training company. 
Yeah, we're announcing the launch for a new personal training company, 100% personal training. It'll be myself, Keen, you know him very well, and you can see half his face getting stuck into a plate of 200 grams of basmati rice here, asparagus and fish. Six stocks of asparagus. Kevin Walsh. <laughs> That's it, really. That's it, yeah. Keep an eye out for it, really, yeah. It's going to be a new level, new age of personal training. They're going to look at the old ages, like, before Neil Armstrong does like your job. Man wasn't on the moon. Now we're on the moon. You hear this? We're flying around in space. Boys don't you know what here? to do. Can you come in? You come in. I think it's good that he's on the moon shop. Do you really? Do you think so? Yeah, yeah this hair. That hair. A new age of personal training is coming. Bold. <laughs> One to one, group training and online. Keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled this weekend, Sunday, the 11th of December. If, I, you, if you want to get someone a good Christmas present, get them the gift of health and fitness. Get them a personal trainer. It's like get them 100% like personal trainer. It's like a good sex, you can have a one to one in a group or online. <laughs>